You wouldn't know by looking at us, but uh, apparently about 45% of the folks out there say they don't like their job. Well, what are you going to do in this job market? It's not like jobs are growing on trees right now. So how do you do more than just survive? How do you thrive? Well, our next guest uh, is here to tell us how. Uh, Glenn Yopis uh, is a lecturer. Uh, he's a motivational speaker, and it's great to have you here. How are you? Thanks. Really good to be here, Mark. Good. Um, we've, this, this is how we've been setting this up all morning long. It's not enough just to survive. That's right. You've got to thrive. I mean, That's how miserable to be in a job and just be plugging along day after day after day and collecting the paycheck. There's got to be more to life, right? Absolutely there is. Well, the 45% is a very disturbing number, isn't it? At a time where we're trying to revive our economy, 45% of the workplace doesn't like to go to work. They and don't like their job. Because they'll actually verbalize this. Sure. Even though they know that there aren't other jobs out there, sure. they'll verbalize the fact, ah, I hate this stinking job. I wish I didn't have to be here. Well, right. you know go somewhere else then and let somebody else have your spot. Well, what I tell employers is number one, there's, there's three things that are really going to drive the workplace. In today's market, it's really the ability to allow people to trust one another again, to empower their employees and to create an environment of transparency. I mean, more than ever before, Mark, employees want to feel like they can trust their employers again. So I always tell the employer, empower your employees to be creative and innovative. More than ever, people just want to have a voice. Ask their opinion. One thing I always recommend is create what I call an employee branded workplace community. Allow the employee to go beyond just their job title and job description. Give them a brand. Give them some freedom of expression. Allow them to be creative and innovative. See, now people are going to think I'm just, you know, kissing up to the boss and bragging. But, but let me use us as an example for just a second because when folks watch this show, they frequently say, you guys really look like you enjoy what you're doing. You look like you enjoy each other. Well, we do. <laughs> Renee in the back just went, eh. Kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, 45% back to no. No, <laughs> Renee, I mean, we, we love what we do. Sure. But part of it is the fact that we're told to go out and do our thing. That's right. Go out and do a show. You guys know how to do TV. Go do it. Just let people be themselves. And what, in a per perfect case in point, in your case, you guys are passionate about what you do. I mean, I see you very early in the morning. <laughs> Six o'clock, you look the same as you do right now. You're up. You're at them. You're passionate. You have this sense of revival. And that's the other part of what an employer needs to really do for their employees is give them an environment where they can not only shine and thrive, but give them one where they feel as if they're being they're being respected for the work that they provide because recognition isn't enough anymore. Now, the book is Earning Serendipity. You, you promise four skills for creating and sustaining good fortune uh, in your work. Give me just one of those skills. If you had to pick one sure. that's the most important, how do you earn your serendipity? Sure, sure. Well, it's interesting. With the respect to the workplace, the one skill that I truly believe is important is the ability to share the harvest. I mean, if you really think about what's happening in business right now, this is the major shift. Is it we're experiencing a time where we're transitioning from a knowledge-based economy to a wisdom-based economy. It's not just what you know, but what you do with what you know. It's about ethics. It's about doing the right thing. And it's about people helping people to thrive, to improve, to do better. Right now, companies are leading with their hearts. I mean, notice that in all their advertising and branding campaigns. They want to lead with their hearts. Why? Because they want to be able to give that, their employees that sense of trust and that ability to not only motivate their employees, but to retain their employees. Because even though 45% of people dislike their jobs, those leaders got to get those people inspired about coming to work and being productive again because they're a major part of our economic revival. Sure, they may not necessarily <laughs> like the job, but they might be really good at it sure. and important to the employer, too. Earning Serendipity. The name of the book, uh, Glenn Yopi. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. Thanks again, Mark. Thank you so much. Good You're to welcome. see you. Thank you. And if you need more information, you go to sandiego6.com and you just click on Hot Topics and we'll uh, hook you up with uh, Glenn and the book. All right.